Plastics Often misunderstood are vital for our daily lives, offering convenience, safety and sustainability. Plastics play a crucial role in diverse industries, from extending food shelf life in packaging to enhancing healthcare with medical devices, plastics contribute significantly. However, amidst their benefits, increasing negativity surround plastics today. Are plastics truly as bad as they are perceived? Let's find the answer today in this special interview featuring an extraordinary young mind, Navedya Rajput. Currently studying in the 6th standard at Amity International School, Navedya has captured our attention with her innovative solution for handling plastic, emerging as a beacon of hope in the fight against environmental challenges. In a recent All India School contest organized by ICPE Mumbai, Navedya and her fellow students proposed a unique approach that challenges the conventional notion of saying no to plastics. Today we have the privilege of delving into Navedya's inspiring journey and gaining insights into her perspective on sustainable development. Hello Navedya, welcome to Palmer Update and thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you. So Navedya, tell me. What inspired you to participate in the All India School Contest on Handling Plastics? So, the moment we uh, get up in the morning, we switch on the lights, the plugs, the switches are all made up of plastic. You brush with, uh, you brush with a brush, which handle is also plastic. There is plastic everywhere. So instead of saying no to plastic, we can use plastic but in a viable uh, way. Uh, yeah. So I saw in TV, in books, in newspapers, and uh, I see it, I saw it physically also that uh, there is plastic everywhere uh, around. Yeah. Uh, everyone litters here and there in the river, on camping sites, streets, roads. Uh, so I thought of uh, uh, participating in this contest so that I can aware people of not littering here and there. So thoughtful, Navidya. Can you share more about the solution you and your fellow students proposed for sustainable development regarding plastic usage? Uh, my message was actually that uh, instead of saying no to plastic, we should use plastic more wisely, like not throwing it here and there, but we can recycle it or we can put it in the recycling bin. Amazing! And how did you come up with the idea and were there any specific experiences or observations that influenced your solution? So I saw on TV that I uh, animals were eating the plastic uh, littered by people. So and they die and, uh, after getting choked by that, by that. Uh, well, I can give an example. Like uh, there is a white blob uh, floating in the sea. Uh, innocent turtle thinks it's a jellyfish and eats it but the little innocent turtle did not know that it was a plastic bag and uh, dies after eating it. But Nevedya, do you personally believe that plastics are bad and we should not use plastics at all? No, uh, I don't think so because uh, plastic, uh, plastic is very light and is easy to uh, you know handle. Uh, and in, uh, we see iron and steel, which is heavy. heavy. So we can't take it everywhere. It's very heavy. It's hard to handle. But uh, so that uh, that was an example. So I think plastic is important. And Navidya, can you elaborate on the meticulous handling of plastics that you believe is more viable solution than saying no to plastics? Uh, yes, I said before that uh, instead of saying no to plastic, we can recycle it or uh, put it in the recycling bin from which, uh, from where it is taken to the recycling power plant, where uh, it is made into again used or made into things which were before as used. So, Navida, tell me. Have you implemented any eco-friendly practices or initiatives in your school to reduce plastic usage 
based on your contest solution yeah uh, one i am in scouts and guides so uh, they told us to uh, pick up all the gl- uh, plastics and all the litter here and there and put it in the uh, recycling bin and they also sh- saw uh, they also teached us how they went in the recycling uh, power plant and made into new things that's a great initiative nevedya it's part of the scout and guides It's amazing that you are learning such thoughtful things at your age especially about our environment. In fact uh, we were also inspired because we also used to say before she made that uh, project we used to say reduce plastic <laughs> do not use plastic bags and when <laughs> whenever when we go outside to buy something and if it's raining then paper bags could get wet so uh, after learning uh, knowing about that project that instead of saying no to plastic we should use it judiciously or as she said wisely we should use and then and, then, and those uh, even the carry bags plastic they can be used again and again by uh, by us we bring one time vegetable then we can again uh, from that and it's not in the case of plastic, uh, that paper bags which, uh, which can be used just once so we also learn from her project also it, it was two way not, not just we were saying and Uh, everything but we also learn from her project and what she was learning in school and is out and like in a way her project has changed your perspective on plastics yes definitely that is amazing and and, and once uh, she was uh, giving an example he is in the rain What, what yeah. Yeah. If it's raining and you want something, for example, just going to school. Yeah. So, so you wear your raincoat is plastic. You cannot wear steel or iron <laughs> raincoat. <laughs> so that was interesting. That she gave an example to us. Very interesting example, I must say. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Now, Vidya, what message would you like to share with other students and people who are passionate about making a positive impact on the environment? Okay, so I want to tell uh, students and all the uh, people around us that uh, not to say no to plastic, but use it in a uh, use it in a uh, proper way. Instead of uh throwing it here and there you can reuse it recycle it or you can even make some craft items with this we should use uh the plastic again and again and uh, as you know about the three r's reduce recycle and reuse navidya i'm amazed by the knowledge you have thank you thank you and mr neeraj i would like to ask you about plastics as it's the hot topic right now people perceive plastic very negatively despite its extensive use in our daily lives so what's your take on it uh yes yes sir we can say that when we were of our age we were not so much conscious about environment climate change but these days uh, our children and students are getting more and more aware about our environment uh, so we were more about books we were learning about from books only but now we we are really impressed uh, all because of uh, i think because of the education they are getting uh, in such schools that they uh, make uh, students aware about of this climate and environment change and, and as i have said because we we also used to say no we will not use plastic uh, say no to plastic whenever used to go to market and say no no we will not take it in the plastic bag but then uh, we should have a solution also for that but as i said paper bags can have their own limitations so uh in particular during the uh, rainy season we cannot bring them we cannot have big uh, paper bags so plastic bags we can have big plastic bags so um, instead of saying no to plastics and uh, we done during this uh, project also uh, when we were just discussing about this project uh, we also learned many things from it and uh, like uh, she said uh, we should aware people about instead of saying no to plastic we should use it uh, wisely uh, as she has said and we are also doing the same thing uh, and uh, for an example if we bring a plastic uh, carry bag we use it again and again so that uh, we should not have more plastic and yes it's it's uh, what uh, inexpensive plastic is inexpensive compared to other materials uh, things we buy and purchase and uh, we, plastic is 
so much part of our life as once we used to say about the stick but now plastic is more and more about our life so uh, we should use it but again we should not discard it here and there we should not throw it here and so that we can save our environment so that's what we can say thank you so much for speaking to polmer update it was a very insightful conversation we are amazed with your knowledge and all the very best for your journey ahead thank, thank you thank you as we wrap up our insightful discussion with navedya rajput it's clear that young minds in our nation offer innovative solution for global challenges navedya's approach to plastic management emphasizes careful handling for sustainable development We thank Navidya for sharing her wisdom and anticipate her ongoing efforts to make a positive environmental impact. Let her story inspire us to think creatively and act responsibly for a greener and healthier planet. This is Tejal Hode. Thank you so much for watching Polmer Update and stay tuned for more such conversations.